Yeah, hi there. These comments are for 9714, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT, and you completed an integrated speaking practice test. This is the one, number six, it's listening, speaking, academic. And I, if I remember correctly, this lecture is talking about the process of glacier formation. All right, so let's listen to your response. This lecture talks about how a glacier is formed. And say that word glacier. The C-I in the middle of a word is usually pronounced as an S-8 sound, glacier. First, according to this lecture, the, the glacier can only form in high area of mount, mountain. Because at, in this... Or how about this? High mountain areas. That would be a little more concise. Uh, places in this area don't reach high temperature that's enough to melt this, the snow. By the time, year over year, uh, winter after winter, the layer of snow increases. At the, at the same place that cannot uh, afford uh, that that cannot afford a large amount of snow uh, anymore. So then uh, the snow begin the movement, which is considered a glacier. Okay, let's take a look at, at this one. I'm going to say a big no on this, believe it or not. You left out a lot of information here, so you weren't able to really explain the ideas here. So if you think about it, uh, in this one you have, first of all, the, it, it, the snow starts to accumulate and it changes into ice. Then these new layers of snow kind of pile up and they make the previous layers more compressed and then this compression, it causes the snow to change in shape or recrystallize. It forms into grains that are kind of the size and shape of sugar. Gradually, as the grains grow larger, the air pockets get smaller and this makes the ice become more and more compact, thus increasing in density. And then in about two winters, the snow actually turns into fern, which the lecture defines as an intermediate state between snow and glacial ice. And then it's about half as dense as water. And then eventually, the ice crystals become so compressed, the air pockets are very tiny. And then eventually, as the weight of the glacier gets heavier and heavier, it begins to move hill because due to the forces of gravity. So you just didn't, I don't know what happened, this is probably not your best response, but you really didn't use any of the vocabulary or the, the ideas from the lecture. You were limited in both grammar and vocabulary, so you didn't really explain this idea, I think, in the way you needed to. All right, so your score here for integrated speaking, I'm going to put you at 2.0 out of 4, or 15 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, if you go to the syllabus for speaking 2.0, this is going to put you at 70% on this assignment. So the main thing here, this lecture in my opinion was over your head. You could not understand it. You couldn't really explain it. So you just did not do very well with this one. So I think you need to improve a little bit more with your academic English language proficiencies. Perhaps maybe by improving your vocabulary, that'd be a great start. And to do that, I'd recommend vocabulary lessons number four, five, and six. Those three lessons will help you to improve your vocabulary. All right, so anyway, thank you for com completing the integrated speaking practice test this quarter. I hope that you've, you've seen that I, my job is to work hard for you to help you realize what some of your issues are and also how you can overcome whatever those language issues are. And thank you for being a great student in my class. Thank you for all your comments. All right, have a great day.